guys, my name is Coach Shardongsterborn, but built for theme park news, and welcome to another Halloween update. Now, this is, of course, pre recorded from the previous day to do with the whole sum of uploads coming today, and, that we, and also the uploads we did yesterday. Check all the uploads out yesterday, and make sure you stay tuned for more uploads today. This is from Las Vegas, the king of gambling and the king of lights. Um, it's a dream to go to Las Vegas one day, stay in the famous casino hotel or something, uh, and, you know, be there on the Las Vegas Strip. And, um, you know, Las Vegas is such a historic place for its bright lights and big city feel. And for Halloween this year, the Dome, the Circus Adventure Dome, they're going to be producing, now of course they already know about the Fright Dome, however, they're going to be producing the brand new for 2020, Fright Ride. So, we've got the official description on the ride, on the official website for the ride, which I will link, I'll leave the link to that in the description down below, so you guys can check it out for yourself. But, before we get started guys, make sure you like the video if you've loved it. Make sure you comment down below your thoughts about this. Is it scary enough for you? Is it worth the trip to Las Vegas, Nevada this year? Uh, and for Las Vegas locals, are you going to go down there this year? Uh, make sure you comment down below all of that. And also comment down below your video suggestions. Because I'll save them all down and I'll release them uh, when we... Uh, when there's no theme park news and updates, I'll pre-record all of them on certain days, and then I'll release them all to the world, for all the world to see in the in the wide eye. And um, make sure you get your merchandise sent in as well. We've got a merchandise update coming in a few days' time, fingers crossed, if we get more sent in. So hopefully that'll all be uh, marked down, so you can send them in in the Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat links in the description down below. Uh, I'm trying to get good on Twitter now, so it'd be good to get a follow if you can. Uh, I'm getting followed by Simona, who's uh, an actress on N. CISLA, so that's pretty cool. Uh, that's the only follower I've got with a blue tick, with a blue verified tick. So, you know, that's a great honour to have. And um, yeah, make sure you do all that and let's get into this video and talk about Las Vegas's brand new Fright Ride opening at Halloween 2020. So like I said, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the link to the ride's website is in the description down below and the information reads as follows. Fright Ride is Las Vegas' largest immersive, socially distanced haunted attraction. Are you brave enough to join the experiment? Test subjects needed. Take a ride on one of our research transport vehicles and participate in our fear diagnosis as you cruise through 75,000 square feet of Dr. Craven's top research lab. According to the attraction's creator, Jason Egan, they saw early on what was happening in 2020 and designed the new Fright Ride to be a socially distanced attraction with an experience made to follow COVID-19 safety protocols. You won't be driving your own car here though, you'll be entering a research lab and be taken to a nurse's station where you'll be diagnosed and then board research transport vehicles that will transport you through the attraction. Reservations are required as availability will be limited each night with general admission starting at $24.99. You can visit the official website for more information which again I'll mention it, I've linked the website in the description of this spooktacular video. So there we go, that is the information then on the Las Vegas Fright Ride. So this is a brand new attraction as part of the Fright Dome for the 2020 season. First thing, the very first thing, I fully respect Jason Egan for taking into account COVID and trying to design something that's COVID friendly, something that's socially distanced and you know correct with social distancing, but something that still delivers the haunting factors that you need to deliver with a horror attraction. So fair dues for them for doing that, first of all. Secondly, I've seen the website, you guys can check out the website after this video yourselves in the description down below, link there. And Oh my god, this looks scary. I'm not gonna. I'm. I'm a person that won't be scared easily. I need a lot to scare me, and it does. It, it takes quite a bit. It takes quite a bit to scare me, and um, I, I, I think I've only been scared a lot, only a few times. So it's gonna take something special to scare me again, and you know, something like the fright ride would be something that would be up there as a potential candidate, uh, from the look of the website, the theme of the ride. Um, the, the the potential in terms of the lighting, the scare acting at a social distance, um, the potential with this is completely off the scale. And even though it's socially distant and even though it's COVID friendly, the potential, like I said, is still off the scale in terms of creative potential and horror potential and psychiatric, you know, creativity potential. And, 
you know, I think Las Vegas, I mean, the thing with Las Vegas is they do it big or they go home. It's either go big or go home with Las Vegas. They'll either do it amazing, top notch, off the scale, or they might as well not do it at all. So they try and go for it. No matter what the restrictions, no matter what the hurdles, no matter what the things put in place, they still go for it. And from the look of the website, from the description of the ride, from the, the sounding of the ride, and from what Jason Egan's been telling the website, the creator, of course, of the of the attraction. I think this could be one of the scariest attractions in America for Halloween this year. In terms of not just really screen parks, but like individual horror attractions. So, you know, big props to the guys at Las Vegas for doing that. And uh, once COVID's gone in a few years' time and you're still doing this fright ride... You never know. I might head down to Las Vegas and try it out for myself. <laughs> but uh, I think that's a long way off for a few years. But, um, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens. But for those of you who are Las Vegas locals or any of you going to Las Vegas this Halloween, uh, go, and, go and check it out because I would fully recommend it from the sounds of it. I think without seeing any construction yet, I think that, you know, this could be one of the scariest attractions in America in terms of individual horror attractions. So I would fully recommend checking this out. I'd fully recommend going there being there, being amongst the horror and the psychiatric creativity of this attraction. And, you know, I would just take it all in. Now, with the COVID restrictions, of course, but take it all in with safety. Uh, so thank you very much, guys, for watching this Halloween update on the new Las Vegas Fright Ride opening in 2020. Like I said, hopefully it stays for a good few years yet because I still I want that's something I really want to experience in a few years' time at Las Vegas myself. So hopefully it stays for the next few years so I can try it out for myself and keep refreshing it year after year. There we go, guys. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Cut notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Still got a couple of uploads to come, so stay tuned for all of that. And for now, guys, my name is Coast Shell, Donkster Born, but built for theme park news. Keep living the coast life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.